So last week I promised that by this week I would be healthy again. I lied. So in today's lazy video, I present the Warp Stabilizer. Use this to make your shaky as shit footage smoother. You can also fix small movements in otherwise stationary shots. The controls. Analyze button. Your computer will go through your footage frame by frame, detect motion and attempts to understand the camera movement in your footage. Result? Smooth motion retains camera motion, but attempts to make it smooth. No motion attempts to remove all motion completely. Smoothness. The control for how much smoothness you want. The more you increase this, the more cropping you'll get. Cropping means a reduction in image quality and sharpness. Typically, I avoid going over 105% crop and 115% as my absolute maximum. Method. There are four stabilization methods. Position. The image is moved around on a 2D plane to counteract camera movement. Position. Scale. Rotation. Same as position, but the image is also enlarged and made smaller and rotated. Perspective. Same as the above, but using automatic corner pinning. Subspace warp. This one's a bit wonky and more complex. The image is analysed, certain parts are distorted, can cause some weird visual morphing. Usually I'll start with the subspace warp, and if it looks weird, make my way up the methods until I think it looks good. Preserve scale. Deactivate scale-based stabilisation. It's useful for zooms and dolly in and out shots. Borders. The first of the two you'll probably use is stabilise crop and auto scale. Automatically make the stabilised footage match your sequence dimensions. The second is synthesised edges. Dramatically hurts performance. Premiere will analyse each frame and rather than cropping the edges of the footage to account for the stabilisation, will attempt to fill in gaps using data from previous and later frames. Advanced settings. Detailed analysis. The computer goes a bit more in depth. Try using this if the initial analysis fails or if you want less cropping. Rolling shutter ripple. DSLRs in particular are probably more likely to have a rolling shutter sensor. Each horizontal line of a frame is captured sequentially rather than simultaneously. This causes a weird skewed warping on motion in the image. You might want to consider fiddling with this if you have a rolling shutter sensor. Crop less, smooth more. Fine tune whether you want the computer to use more cropping or more smoothing. I'm going to fly through this last bit. Synthetic input. How far ahead and behind in seconds synthesized edges will look for frame sampling. Feather. How much it smoothens the synthesized and non-synthesized footage. Most of you probably won't need to use the rest of this. If you need to, you probably have the expertise to work it out. Hide warning banner. If this shit pops up, hides it. So that's it for the video. Hopefully next week I'll be healthy again and I can make these a little bit more entertaining.